that has haunted humanity for centuries. As our telescopes pierce deeper into the cosmos, we edge closer to answering it. Could the answer lie in Proxima B, Barnard B, or perhaps an even stranger world? Today, we'll explore these fascinating exoplanets, what they tell us about the universe, and what they mean for humanity's future. Let's start with Proxima B, orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system, a mere 4.24 light years away. That's so close that, in cosmic terms, it's practically next door. But why is it so exciting? Proxima B sits in the habitable zone of its red dwarf star, where liquid water might exist. Water, the lifeblood of life as we know it, could mean this rocky planet is home to microbial life or even more complex ecosystems. Imagine this, a distant world, bathed in the faint red glow of its star, with oceans teeming with alien organisms. Could Proxima B be a mirror to Earth, showing us what life could look like under entirely different conditions? But there's a catch. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are unpredictable. They emit powerful solar flares that could strip away a planet's atmosphere. If Proxima B is home to life, it would need extraordinary resilience, possibly living underground or beneath oceans, shielded from the star's wrath. What if Proxima B does harbor intelligent life? How might such beings survive with limited resources, scarce water, scant food? Their existence would require an efficiency that puts human ingenuity to shame. Imagine their methods of agriculture, perfected under harsh conditions. Could they teach us to grow food on Earth amid the looming threat of climate change? The thought is both humbling and thrilling. Of course, building trust with an alien civilization wouldn't be easy. It would demand unparalleled patience, empathy, and cooperation. But in doing so, we might unlock a new chapter in human evolution. Moving further out, at six light years away, lies Barnard B. It orbits Barnard's star, the second closest stellar system to us. Unlike Proxima B's fiery dance, Barnard B is a cold, frozen rock. Its slow orbit takes 233 Earth days, a stark contrast to Proxima B's rapid 11-day year. Discovered via the radial velocity method, scientists detected its subtle gravitational pull on Barnard's star, a technique that requires immense precision. While Barnard B may not sound exciting, a frozen wasteland without rivers or oceans, it tells us something profound, planets are everywhere. Even lifeless worlds like Barnard, they are vital puzzle pieces in the grand picture of the cosmos. They help us understand the diversity of planetary systems and where to look for life. The excitement doesn't stop with Proxima B and Barnard B scientists have catalogued over each offering unique mysteries. Some, like Kepler 186F, are tantalizingly Earth-like, orbiting their stars at just the right distance for liquid water. Others, like the mysterious Gliese 581 gram, challenge our understanding of habitability. This rocky world, potentially with a thick carbon dioxide atmosphere, could be a greenhouse haven for alien ecosystems. And then there are the so-called ocean worlds with hydrogen-rich atmospheres, where life might thrive in ways we can barely imagine. If we find intelligent life, how would humanity respond? Would nations unite under the banner of discovery, or would we see competition, mistrust, and conflict? Meeting aliens might challenge our sense of identity, forcing us to redefine what it means to be human. We'd need to tread carefully, balancing scientific curiosity with ethical responsibility. Could we risk bringing harm to another civilization, or having them harm us? Technological marvels like the James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming Extremely Large Telescope will soon provide unparalleled glimpses of these distant worlds. They'll help us analyze atmospheres, detect biosignatures, and uncover the secrets hidden in the starlight. But as we stand on the brink of discovery, let's remember, the search for life isn't just about finding aliens. It's about understanding our place in the universe. Are we a cosmic anomaly? or just one of countless civilizations scattered across the stars? Each exoplanet discovery brings us closer to an answer. Worlds like Barnard B and Proxima B remind us of the universe's vast possibilities, of what might be out there, waiting to be found. In the words of Carl Sagan and perhaps that something is closer than we think. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri and Barnard's star account for about 70% of all stars in our galaxy. 
Their small size and low energy output make them intriguing for planetary exploration. Unlike larger stars, red dwarfs burn for billions of years, providing a long window of stability for life to potentially evolve. However, these stars present challenges. While they shine for eons, their youth is marked by intense stellar flares that could strip away the atmospheres of planets like Proxima b but what if life on such planets adapted to these challenges? On Earth, we see extremophiles, organisms that thrive in harsh environments like volcanic vents and radioactive zones. Could similar life forms evolve on red dwarf worlds, finding refuge underground or beneath thick oceans? While Barnard b is a frozen world, it invites speculation about subsurface environments. Scientists hypothesize that beneath its icy exterior, geothermal heat might sustain liquid water. If so, could life similar to Earth's extremophiles thrive there? On Earth, places like Antarctica's subglacial lakes host microbial life despite extreme cold. Could Barnard B harbor similar ecosystems? Even if it doesn't, studying such planets teaches us how life could adapt to environments vastly different from Earth's. Barnard B's discovery via the radial velocity method showcases the ingenuity of modern astronomy. By detecting the slight wobble of Barnard's star caused by the planet's gravitational pull, scientists inferred the presence of this distant world. This method highlights the precision required to find planets. Tiny shifts in a star's light spectrum, measured in parts per billion, signal the presence of orbiting worlds. Over decades, Advancements in spectroscopy have transformed the radial velocity method, enabling us to discover smaller and more distant planets. In contrast, Proxima b was detected using transit photometry. This technique measures the dimming of a star's light when a planet passes in front of it. While straightforward in concept, transit photometry requires instruments sensitive enough to detect brightness changes as slight as 0.01%. The Kepler Space Telescope revolutionized this method, identifying thousands of exoplanets. By monitoring stars across vast regions of space, Kepler uncovered worlds ranging from Earth-like planets to gas giants. Earth's life-supporting conditions, liquid water, a stable atmosphere, and a magnetic field, result from a delicate balance of factors. Our planet's distance from the Sun places it in the Goldilocks zone, where temperatures are just right for water to remain liquid. Earth's magnetic field, generated by its molten core, protects the atmosphere from solar wind. Without it, our planet might resemble Mars, cold, barren, and atmosphere-deprived. By studying exoplanets like Proxima b and Barnard b, we can better understand how rare or common Earth-like conditions are in the universe. Life on Earth depends on carbon and water. But what if alien life relied on silicon or methane? Planets like Titan, Saturn's largest moon, show that liquid methane can exist in place of water. Could life arise in such conditions? The diversity of life on Earth suggests that alien ecosystems could be even more varied. From bacteria that consume arsenic to deep-sea creatures surviving without sunlight, the possibilities are endless. The search for alien life isn't just about answering cosmic questions, it's about understanding ourselves. Discovering another inhabited planet would challenge humanity's sense of uniqueness and force us to reconsider our place in the universe. Moreover, the techniques we develop for studying exoplanets have practical applications on Earth. Advanced spectroscopy, for instance, is used in medical imaging and environmental monitoring. What happens if we find intelligent life? Should we try to communicate? Some scientists advocate caution citing the risks of revealing our presence to potentially hostile civilizations. Others argue that mutual discovery is inevitable. This debate touches on profound ethical questions, would we have the right to interfere with alien ecosystems? Could we coexist peacefully with beings whose values and biology differ radically from ours? The past three decades have been transformative for astronomy. From the first exoplanet discovered in 1992 to the 5,000+ plus catalog today, our understanding of planetary systems has exploded. These discoveries reveal that planets are more common than we ever imagined. From super-Earths to gas giants, the diversity of worlds challenges our assumptions about planetary formation and habitability. Artificial intelligence plays a growing role in analyzing astronomical data. Machine learning algorithms can sift through massive datasets, 
identifying potential exoplanets faster and more accurately than human researchers. AI also helps model planetary climates and simulate conditions on distant worlds. These tools accelerate our search for habitable planets and deepen our understanding of their environments. If the universe is silent, what does that mean for humanity? Some scientists propose the rare earth hypothesis, which suggests that intelligent life is exceedingly rare. In this scenario, our responsibility to protect earth becomes even greater. If we're the only intelligent beings, our survival and progress are vital to preserving the universe's consciousness. The Fermi paradox asks, if intelligent life is common, why haven't we found it? Several theories attempt to explain this, suggests that civilizations self-destruct before reaching advanced stages. Posits that aliens avoid contact to observe us without interference. Argues that intelligent life is just beginning to emerge across the cosmos. Reaching even the closest stars, like Proxima Centauri, requires breakthroughs in propulsion technology. Concepts like solar sails, nuclear fusion drives, and antimatter engines are still theoretical but could one day make interstellar travel possible. The Voyager and Pioneer probes, humanity's first interstellar messengers, carry plaques and records detailing our existence. Will these tiny ships one day be discovered by alien civilizations? If we can't find a habitable planet, could we make one? Terraforming, altering a planet's environment to support human life, is a popular concept in science fiction. Mars is often considered a candidate, but the challenges are immense. Alternatively, humanity might build space habitats, artificial structures orbiting stars. These habitats could house billions, expanding our reach beyond Earth. The search for life reminds us of our shared humanity. In the face of the vast cosmos, our divisions seem trivial. As Carl Sagan said in Pale Blue Dot, the Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. The pursuit of knowledge can inspire cooperation and foster a sense of global unity. The universe is vast, mysterious, and full of possibilities. Each exoplanet discovery brings us closer to understanding our place among the stars. Whether we find life or not, the journey itself is a testament to human curiosity and resilience.